moment for a special broadcast. We take you to London, England. Now, soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. The free men of the world are marching together to victory. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck. And let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. United States, this is a momentous hour in world history. This is the invasion of Hitler's Europe, the zero hour of the second front. The men of General Dwight Eisenhower are leaving their landing barges, fighting their way up the beaches into the fortress of Nazi Europe. They are moving in from the sea to attack the enemy under a mammoth cloud of fighter planes, under a ceiling of screaming shells from Allied warships. The first news flashes do not say but a large proportion of this assault is believed to be in the hands of American men. They are making the attack side by side with the British Tommies who were bombed and blasted out of Europe at Dunkirk. Now, at this hour, they are bombing and blasting their way back again. This is the European front, once again being established in fire and blood not only by the Americans and British, but by many allies in the fight against Axis aggression. This is the supreme test of allied spirit and of allied weapons. The world's greatest military undertaking is underway. forces are on the offensive against Nazi troops who have been ordered to die rather than retreat. However, die or retreat they must, for this attack up the shores of Europe is being made with all the strength the Allied command can throw into battle. 